welcome to another episode of Level Up. In today's video, I'm going to continue building the platformer that we've built in the past three videos. So what we've done so far is we've created a sprite, created um, a tile map for her to run along, and we've given her a way to win the game and a way to lose the game. But we want to make it a bit more interesting. We want to give our sprite a way to earn points within the game. So we will start by making our tile map a little bit more interesting and we'll do that by increasing the size. So as we can see down here, our tile map is currently 16 by 16 and what we'll change it to is, let's try 40. Enter. And what that's given us is a more extended tile map. So we've got a bit more space to play around with. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go back to miscellaneous, grab that lava and extend it along the floor. Which one had we chosen? This one? Yep, that looks about right. So let's extend that across the floor. Now I'm not being particularly creative. Um, so I invite you to spice your own game up a bit. And what we'll do is we'll add a few more platforms. So let's pop a few platforms along. There we go. So I've added in a few more platforms. I've not turned them into walls yet. And the reason I've not done that is because um, they're a mixture of blue and pink. So this whole first lot are pink and the last lot are blue. And I want to make that a little bit more equal. So I'll come to the paint option um, and I'll just select a few rows that are currently pink and I'll change them to blue. Um, and then I'll change to the pink block and a few rows that are blue, I'll just change them to pink. We need to make them walls. So we'll select our wall tool and we'll make them walls. There we go. I'm done. I've made all of those platforms walls. So I've given our um, sprite something to stand on. Something I'm going to do first is I'm going to move our orb, so the way we win the game, to the end of the tile map. And I'll do that by erasing it. Um, and finding it again. I can't remember where it was. Was it in dungeon? Yes. So, got our orb. And we will put our orb over here. So our sprite needs to go along all of these platforms to get to our orb. So let's test that. Click our A button. There are our pretty platforms and our very fancy clouds. Um, let's try to not die. Need a few more platforms. So I'll add a few more platforms in and then get back to you. I mentioned at the start of this video that we wanted to give our sprite a way to earn points and we're going to do that by adding coins into the game. Go back into our tile map and add placeholder tiles. So in our tile map, everywhere you want a coin to appear, we'll add a placeholder tile. I'm going to draw my own tile for this. So I'll click my tiles, click plus. I'll click the fill and I'll just select red. Fill this block. So everywhere I place a red tile is where I want to add a coin. So I'll add a coin there, add a coin there. Now you can see I've added a whole bunch of red tiles and this is where I want my coins to be. So I'll click done and let's see if that appears in our simulator. Eh, yep. So all of those red blocks is where we're going to have a coin. But now we need to write the code to generate a coin on those placeholder tiles. And we'll do that by coming to our loops block. And we will choose a for element value of list. And we'll drop that in under there. We'll come to scene and we will choose array of all locations and drop this into the list block. Change that to our red. So now we're saying for all of these red blocks, we want something to happen in here. 
And what we want to happen is we want a new sprite to be generated. So we'll go to sprites, we'll grab a set my sprite block, and we'll drop that into there. We're going to change the name of my sprite. Let's change it to coin. And let's draw a coin. Draw a coin. Let's choose a pre-drawn coin. Yeah, that's a cute one. Stick that in. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, so we have a coin over there. We've not yet placed it on the block. Let's change that to a new kind of sprite. Coin. So we've created our sprite. We've not told it yet that we want to place it on top of these red blocks. So we'll go back to scene and we will choose a... Place my sprite on top of, grab that, drop it under there, change that to coin. And what we wanted to do is we wanted to pick this value. So we'll drag this value out and drop it to that whole section. Let's see if that's worked. There we go. So everywhere where we've had um, a red block, we've now got a coin there. The only problem is we've also got a red block. So we want to um, clear that. And the way we do that is by coming back into scene and grabbing a set block dropping it underneath. Now we'll leave this clear, right? And we'll grab this value again because we want to say everywhere there is a value and the value is the array of all the red blocks. We now want to make that clear. Drag that value out and pop it into our tile map. And there we have it. So now we've got a whole bunch of coins um, across our tile map. Nothing happens yet when we um, overlap with them. Um, so let's, let's make that a bit more interesting. We want to write some code so that when our sprite of kind player overlaps with sprite of kind coin, the score increases. So let's go to sprites. Let's scroll down to the section that says overlaps and grab this block. Drop it over there. I'm going to tidy up this area a bit. On sprite of kind player overlaps other sprite of kind coin. We want the score to increase and that's in our info blocks over here. So we will change score by one. Let's see. Oh, there we go. So every time our sprite overlaps that coin, the, the, the score increases. But we don't want that to keep happening. We only want one coin to give her one extra point. So what we need to do is we need to destroy that sprite. Back to sprites. Scroll down to destroy my sprite. Underneath. We don't want it to destroy my sprite. We want it to destroy other sprites. Um, you can delete blocks by dragging them into the blocks option. Ah, coin is gone. All the coins are gone. So that is working great. That's it for this video. Um, what we can do is we can make that a bit more exciting as well is so we can add a, an effect um so we've currently got a spray effect let's see what that looks like okay that's all right we'll make it a little bit quicker let's see yeah that's a bit more satisfying perfect 
So we've got our sprite, we've got coins, a way to generate a score. So join us for the next video where we're going to learn how to animate our coins. Thanks, bye!